Hello. Let's uh, discuss this uh, technology-enabled uh, science teaching for all the science teachers. Uh, let me just go through the different techniques that we've been using. I have used in my own classes. I would like to share it with you all. So one is uh, mobile teaching, animations. You can see the animations, simulations in classrooms and uh, recorded videos. So the different techniques uh, that I've used are not digital classrooms, clipped classrooms, Google classrooms. Uh, some of them is what uh, is shared. So your yeah, digital classrooms can be anything like e-learning, visuals, pop ions, animations, open online courses, YouTube lectures, your own lectures, self-recorded, or eminent people's videos which are available, uh, professors, scientists, and so on. Uh, you can have your YouTube links shared of your own recordings or others through WhatsApp or social network to all your students. They will go through that and come back to the class after preparing. So this is one uh, thing. Then simulations, experiential learning, mobile learning, these are all the things. Uh, other than this, we also have something like, you know, uh, before the class or while uh, the classes are going on, in between, we can have some opinion poll. It can be a general one or it can be our own subject, something different from what they normally learn. So, like, you know, you can give some general questions like this about the uh, present scenario of the government of India and science and technology. Uh, what are the current topics? And then, uh, present examination system, present curriculum, any of these things can be, you know, as a debate, as an opinion poll, uh, give it a week's time, 10 days time, or whatever, depending on the size or the number of questions that you are sharing. Let them go through it, give them some thought, give, let them give some thought to the questions that you've shared, then come back and you can discuss these, debate it, uh, kind of, you know, involving the people. Not just the studies, it can be general, something related. So this I thought is one way of you know engaging them, keeping the classroom dynamics active. Another form, these are all, it can be digital also. Why we are saying digital is uh, you are sharing something on the net, on Google, on the systems. So we are calling this as you know part. Otherwise also people were doing it without digital, but it becomes more convenient uh, to do it using. Uh, digital platform. Question and answer sessions, I think most of the teachers will be using that. And then visual rounds, voice of scientists, uh, like you know, different scientists, biographies, you can ask them to collect, uh, give a project on that. Or you can have a quiz on different scientists' voice, recognize the voice, recognize the, the experimental setup. See, if you have the thought you feel you have the concept you have an idea you will uh, be able to do many more things these are only giving some examples here which are given you can use your own technique each teacher is unique each student is unique you can also have you know something like memory games uh, if you have any particular topic regarding the topic what are all the things that are needed say for an experiment suppose you are doing what all you require for that experiment keep them all together uh, and then uh, pre prepare a slide, present it to the students. Uh, after some time, let them recall from the memory what it is. Likewise, you can create 10 slides in a particular class, depending on the length of the time which is allotted for you. Uh, test their memory. It's a fun way of doing it. Just remote learning, they may not like all the time. Now, this present generation kids like all the dynamics. So, it's a simple uh, beginning, a small uh, effort that is being made. So something like these, you know, you can give uh, the point questions, some of the questions. I thank Google services, Google Play Store, Google uh, educational tools, so many PowerPoints, so many quizzes are all available, free open software, and we're using it for purely academic interest and for education purpose. So you can use it. I really thank all the slides that I've used. I've taken it from the Google. So you can create uh, slides like this, you know, what this experiment is about. You can ask them, give them an answer. Like this you can go. 